being naive. Naive. When God said that this is sitting here and this will cause this to happen, that should have already been in their head that there is something that's going to come to try to cause me to mess with this fruit. I need to know, do y'all hear me today? Yes, sir. Something is going to come to try to knock me off course, Rhoda. Something is going to come. If you live in the realm of thinking that it can't ever happen to me, that it won't happen to me, watch it happen. I don't know why people think that they are a match for the devil. Why do people think that they are smarter than the devil? Why? For the life of me, I can't get it. There's only one way to defeat the enemy. Only one way. Do y'all know what that way is? Through Jesus. Can't nobody do nothing with the devil but God. And he created a son named Jesus in order to give us the victory to do it. You are no match for Satan by yourself. Oh, y'all think it's a game, don't you? I said you are no match for the devil by yourself while you playing with your Christianity. While you shucking and jiving around here. Why you not doing what you're supposed to do won't die. Amen. Won't bring yourself under submission like you're supposed to. Thank you, a match for the enemy. I'll mess around and hear God say, depart from me, for I never knew you. You ain't nothing but a worker of iniquity. You ain't no match for him. I'm going to show you why you ain't no match for him. I told you I'm going to work the text. I'm going to show you why we ain't no match for him. They in the garden, right? Satan shows up through a serpent. He got victory too, didn't he? Now tell me you're a match for him. Tell me with your bad self that you a match for him. I ain't no match for him. Delphine ain't no match for him. I can show you why. I know she ain't no match for him. He used her for years. If she was a match for him, she wouldn't have been in sin. I ain't no match for him. God was not there. And the serpent shows up. Hmm? Has full conversation. And they ate the fruit. So you think, God, oh dear God, oh dear. you think that you are a match for the enemy. You think you can just play with your Christianity. You think you can just hit this when you want to. Huh? You think that you can just do what you want, how you want to. You think you can just throw God a little some of this right here and all this kind of stuff and that's supposed to make it. No. 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 You ain't no match for the devil. There is no victory for my life except in Christ. That's the only place victory lies is in Christ. I just showed y'all two different places where the Lord was not on the scene. And they got in trouble in both of them, didn't they? I told y'all I was going to work the text. They got in trouble in both places. One place got them literally kick slap out the garden. Play with your Christianity. Play with your walk with God. I ain't going to play with mine now. You can do what you want with yours. But I ain't going to play with mine. But play with your walk with God and think that you are a match for the enemy. Think that your little nature that you don't want to bring under subjection to God, the part that you don't want to submit to God, want to keep living like Adam and throwing blame everywhere, want to keep living like Eve and being naive and think that you'll be all right at the judgment seat. Okay. Okay. They wasn't all right. Why would I be? Hmm? They were not right. 
So why would their fiend be? Must Jesus bear this cross alone and all the world go free? If they wasn't all right, why would I be? Huh? Am I better than them? Huh? See, when you're naive, you think like that. You'll think you can do it and it ain't going to happen to you. You'll think that you can escape it and it ain't going to happen to you. Give them another natural example, Delphine. I think I will. Uh Uh-huh. So she think that she can change the man. She done got him from this woman over here. And she think that she can change him and make him a better man. Because she naive. Guess what? He do the same thing with her. Mm Mm-hmm. Kicked out. What makes you any different? That it can't happen to you. Hmm? Hmm? We are no match for the enemy except through Christ. Stop playing with your Christianity. Stop playing with your life for God. Stop it. Now, I'm going to show you something else out of the Genesis text. What kept them was the fact that they had heard what not to do. (laughs) They had heard (laughs) what not to do. Lord, help me. (laughs) You going to do this? Yeah. Okay, they had heard what not to do. He wasn't there all the time, was he? No, he wasn't. <laughs> See, it'll show up on you. It'll you. tell on you. Yes, it will. <laughs> whether you respect him. Okay. I like to kick this whole okay. thing over there. It'll okay. tell on you whether you respect what you done heard. Okay. Real hard. It's going to tell on you now. Whether you respect and regard what you done heard. All the messages that you done heard. All of what you done heard. It'll tell on you. Whether you let what you heard convert. Or whether you let what you heard just be what you heard. Oh, God, help me today. Help, help me, please. Huh? It's going to tell on you. Uh, the Lord said, our relationship should be so good that all I got to do is just say it to you. I shouldn't have to babysit you, Delphine. You going to do it? I'm going to do it, Rolla. I shouldn't have to babysit you. That's what he was saying to him. Did y'all catch it? I done put you in a good place. I shouldn't have to babysit you in the place. You should be able to just live by my words. If your relationship is right with me like it should be, then there should be consolation in my words. You should trust my words, my words said to you, I'm just trying to show y'all how we mess up. I'm trying to show y'all what jacks us up and why we don't have the freedom and why people can't understand the freedom that I have and why I can be so liberated as a Christian because people won't come to the place that I've allowed myself to come to. I killed that witch named Delphine. I get her. See, when she tries to show her head, I get her. I deal with her. She pops up from time to time, but I put her right back in play. Look at him. Get out of here. This is the thing about it. They were jacked up. And they got jacked up because the Lord put them in a good place. This is what you got to understand. The Lord will always and the Lord will use a leader that will put you in a good place. He put them in a good place. He put them in a garden that had everything. There was nothing missing. Nothing lacking. There was nothing broken. Nothing held back from them or anything. But there was a suggestion or a instruction given to them to say now there's one tree in here 
that you might not want to mess with, all right? All of the other stuff you can have freely is yours, but don't touch that one right now because it's not good, but I'm not going to babysit you to keep you from touching it because you should have a relationship with me that's built so off of a covenant that you know that what I say to you, Out there, fiend. Just get on a plane and go somewhere. You got a ticket on your dresser. You should just be okay with what I say to you. Huh? Y'all see it in the text? Do you see that? You should just be okay with what I say to you. I shouldn't have to babysit you. Hmm. Shouldn't have to. Should be okay and know that. Oh, they good. They good. But when you are naive, when you are naive, and when you don't hold, when you don't hold God's word, what it really got? Why you help me, Jesus? When you don't hold God's word to the capacity of what it really is, when you don't believe it to be what it really is, you have a spirit of nah, Eve. That's what you're doing. That ain't going to happen to me. I'm going to do what I want to do. How I want to do it. When I want to do it. And you still going to be God to me. Hmm? I listen to you when I want to listen to you. I show up when I want to. I do this how I want to do this. I'm going to take advantage. Let me show y'all another point in it. I grab all of this out of Genesis. And I'm grabbing it out of the spirit realm right now. Show you another thing that they were saying. I'm just going to take advantage of what you've given us. Because I'm entitled to it. You start walking as if you got an entitlement. Like God's supposed to do this for you. They were walking in a spirit of entitlement. You was placed in the garden and you walk around like, yeah, this is what it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to be here. I got rights to be here. What you mean? So when you live in a spirit of entitlement, as if something is supposed to be done for you or something supposed to be given to you, then you start disrespecting the one that gave it. I'm entitled to this. There is no, no gratitude for it. There is no respect for it. No humility connected to it because I'm entitled to this. What do you mean you are entitled to this? Yeah, you were created. Yeah, God created you, Adam. He sure did. But he created you in order for you to be grateful for being created, not for you to feel entitled to being created. But there was an entitlement that came. And so if you don't watch it, you will live your Christian life in a realm of entitlement. Like this is supposed to happen to me. And no, you ain't going to let me go to hell. <laughs> My first angel went, didn't he? The one that's tricking you. He went. So what makes you think? You can't. See, when you live in that realm of possibility, you have a greater regard for your walk with God, y'all. I live in the realm of possibility. I know that this is Sunday, 
But if I don't maintain myself like I'm supposed to, I could be a fallen preacher on Monday. But if you don't live in the realm of possibility and you think, nah, 